Hello everyone. Our job for today is configuring trunks. Trunks are required to pass VLAN information between switches. A port on a switch is either an access port or a trunk port. Access ports carry traffic from a specific VLAN assigned to the port. A trunk port by default is a member of all VLANs. Therefore, it carries traffic for all VLANs. This activity focuses on creating trunk ports and assigning them to a native VLAN other than the default. Part 1. Verify VLANs. Step 1. Display the current VLANs. Step 2. Verify loss of connectivity between PCs on the same network. Although PC1 and PC4 are on the same network, they cannot ping one another. This is because the ports connecting the switches are assigned to VLAN 1 by default. In order to provide connectivity between the PCs on the same network and VLAN, trunks must be configured. Part 2. Configure Trunks Step 1. Configure trunking on S1 and use VLAN 99 as the native VLAN. Pins are successful because trunking has been enabled on S1. Dynamic trunking protocol is automatically negotiated the other side of the trunk links. In this case, S2 and S3 have now automatically configured the ports attached to S1 as trunking ports. Step 2. Verify trunking is enabled on S2 and S3. There are VLAN 1, 10, 20, 30, and 99 allowed to accost the trunk. Step 3. Correct the native VLAN mismatch on S2 and S3.
steps or verify configurations on S2 and S3. To configure trunks, we set trunk mode first. Then assign the trunk port to the native VLAN. That's all for this activity, thanks for watching.